Hello, hello, my name is Covert Stubbs and welcome to Curse of the Dead Gods. Now, yes, again, it's another one of those things where I have no idea what to play. I have no idea what to do. Let me turn you down a little bit and turn the effects down a little bit because the effects usually get annoying. Uh, but I don't know what to do. I don't know what to play. So we are back in more of the sum of series. I've found four games of them that I want to try. Never played them before. Know nothing about them. I just know this has the same art style as Darkest Dungeon, which is going to be one of the games. And you know what? Screw it. I want to play. Slot 2. Wow, that looks cool. I could make a good background for your, uh, for your PC. <laughs> but I'm someone who loves Darkest Dungeon. I saw this. It was, again, just stuck in my library at one point. Uh, I was like, you know what? Let me try it. Let me, let me have a go of this game. Because I don't know what to play. I want a big game. I've got a load of notes next to me about what games to play. Uh, hello? But I don't have a clue. You, right there. You, you sitting there. No, no, no. Not, not the person that's seat. You, right there. Sat down on your couch, watching this on your phone, or on your TV. Suggest me a game. Please. Because I'm stuck at the moment. I've obviously got the ones in my notes, but I want to hear from you. What do you want to play? Or what do you want me to play? Hello? Oh shit. Uh... Okay, okay, X is how I get my, um... <laughs> thing back. X? Okay, so we got square for the attack, we got triangle for the gun, we got X for the, uh... Oh, it's in the bottom left corner, I was too busy looking at the guy. <laughs> But hello again, my name's Covert Stubbs, as I just said before. If you do like my videos, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It's free, it's down there. You know, just click away, leave a comment, go tap, 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 hi. <laughs> oh God. My arm, it's been purpleified. No, how could this door do this to me? No, <laughs> I need that arm. <laughs> Oh, never mind, it opened the door. Quick, run in. This weird mystical force has just grabbed my arm and forcibly pulled me into this place. Whatever shall I do? No, it's locked. Damn. Hello? Anybody here? Oh no. Light reveals hidden traps. Standing in darkness increases all the damage you take by 50%. Watch out for the indicator at the bottom of your screen to know if you're standing in the light or in the darkness. Okay. Use your torch and equip it. Torch can spread to fire brazers. Elements of fire can be spread around and lit. Cool. Quick, get out of the darkness. Oh. I don't think I can die in this tutorial, so I'm just trying to get all the attacks working that offhand combo though is terrible it's so slow dodge the enemy successfully evade and trigger a perfect dodge okay use the parry action at the last moment oh l2 ching 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 Woo. attack me my god i've done it Continue to the end of the room to start your journey through the temple. If you want to practice, use the interaction in the central market of the room to call more enemies. No, I, I, I want to go running about. Oh, initiation! Whoa, complete the room of trials! Well, now I have to hide my notifications again. <laughs> I always forget to hide the notifications. <laughs> oh my god, it's a random one. Well, it's a good thing I played Slay the Spire, so I know how to do this. Each temple and room is linked together. They represent main rewards you can get. Use a map action to explore. So, a tribute, gold, or a weapon. And I can get another weapon. I'll go for a tribute. A tribute's always, in the long run, a better. I'd rather have a strength that can help me deal 10 damage than a sword that only deals 10 damage. Watch out for your corruption gauge. At the bottom right of your screen, each door you go through increases your corruption. But each full, grade, full gauge, you become corrupted. And crossing the next door will curse you. There's a save available. Where? Beastie, beastie, statistics, assist mode, return to the main hall, give up. Where is this save? <laughs> I don't want to go that way. 
Ow! Ow! Son of a bitch! I thought I was a fucking... Okay, ha ha, ha ha, he he, funny. Ooh. Base damage? Yeah. Use the inventory action to consult your current gear. You also have access to the codex and system through this interface. I pressed R1 instead of R2. Didn't dodge right. I do like how this looks though. Oh! Hear me. Woohoo! I feel like I am going to struggle playing this game. Not even for the normal, like, thing, just because... Oh my god, why is there so many enemies? No, go away, magic man. Keep the corruption off of me. Read. My god, they do damage. After defeating an enemy, the greed kill starts. Chain kills to get the more gold. Greed resets if you take damage. Suffer sickness, su sufficiently charged range attacks I always trigger perfect shots. I'd rather offer it to the gods. I don't think I'm going to use the gun much unless I get a better gun. Oh my god, look at all the gold. Oh no, they can break my bloody... um. Ow. They can break my fucking lamps. I didn't know that. That's both good and bad to know. What's this? When interacting with a weapon relic or tribute also, you can make an offering to the gods to claim one of the three presented boons. Make gold to spend gold. Make blood to get it for free. What are these? Oh, 20% max health and damage. How much blood do I have to offer for that? Ow! We can only go for the gold next. More corruption! <laughs> Whoa! Ah! Shadow word! The shadows can play tricks upon the eye. Best they be named. So the enemies cannot lie. Regular enemies are concealed within the shadows. Concealed enemies are revealed by light when attacking. You deal 20% more damage in darkness. Be aware of the dark, for it is not your friend. Each time your gauge fills, you are cursed. Cursed has modifiers. Beware the fifth and final. It will strongly jeopardize your chance of success. Money, 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 money. Oh my god, I am so bad at this game. Oh, the chip kill. Yeah, see, that, that stupid gun, ow, is supposed to stun him. Oh, my God. I am no good with dodging. Go down. Oh, my God. They cause corruption as well. Cool. Right, get what I can. Get what I can. Ow. Dick. Look, they don't even get stuck. What is the point in the gun to stun if the gun doesn't stun? What's this? Gold offerings of remove. Yeah, I'll take that. What are you? Lightning strikes. I'll offer it to the gods. I like fast weapons. I'm sorry. In my heart of hearts, you might hate me, but I am what is known. As a dexterity user. I know. I know. Healing. <laughs> Healing immediately. Oh, more corruption. But I know. It's not what you would think. You're like, stops. Why would you do that? Why would you heal? Oh, here we go. Just, gi just give me more corruption to heal. Just give me more corruption to heal. I do not care. I want to move on. To the gold. Come on, show me what curse I get. Oh, my demon arm! The dark mysteries! There are some things that must be lived to be understood. Other curses are unknown, as long as this one is not lifted. 
The darkness inside of me is taking hold. Oh god, no, this is the bombs! <laughs> Survived it. No. No, 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 no. Bad enemies. You do not get to come back. Uh, taking damage. Deals 30%. Hell yeah. I take a bit of damage. I deal 30% to them. Why would I not do that? Oh no. The prison inside my mind is shackled. And it refuses. Whoa, big enemy. Whoa. Ow. Woohoo. Whoa, his range is huge. Jesus. I was mocking that dude. Never fucking mind. His range is massive. Yo, 3% of max health when an enemy is killed by an environment. I'll, I'll give it to the gods. I don't care about that. That is not a lot. Like, ooh, a bit of your max health. No. Uh, I want a relic. Looks like I'm stuck on a relic route. Did you see that? All the uh, map route is the relics. Save available. Where? Where is this save available? Do you see it? Because I don't. I see this. Wow, the bestiary. If you defeat 50, you learn more. But look, I don't see it. I see the options menu. I see the assist mode. I see return to hall. And I see give up. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Chase me, foul creatures. Yes. Oh, you want to play that game? Bam. Yeah, I too can shoot. Okay, so the gun ain't too bad. The gun ain't too bad. 10% damage on the light. I'll offer it to the gods because... My torch disappears when I'm in the light, and even if I do manage to stay in the light, it gets destroyed by the creatures. So there's nothing I can do about it. Woo! Oh god. Woo! Give me the money! This game's neat. Oh, come on. I hate this shooting creature. I hate it so much. If you hate it too, let me know. But I wonder what this game is supposed to be about, because it just seems like I'm a ad random adventurer and I've been trapped in here. Forced to move forward. Forced to continue delving into the darkness to try, try, and try to, um... What is it? You know. Survive. Uh, gold offerings remove five corruption plus two perception. No single source of damage you take and exceed 15%. Hell yes. I will definitely take that. So I can only take fixated amounts of damage now, up to 15% of me being hurt. That sounds kind of good, right? I mean, it does to me. Oh. Oh, it says save available, but because I'm immediately running, I can't save... I need to learn how to use this dodge mechanic better. Damn it, stop cursing me! Please! Ugh. Go down. You know what, speaking of stuff like this, I absolutely love... Um... Necromancer games or Isekai or manga and so on and so forth because summoning skeletons and undead armies and all that stuff is so fucking cool in my eyes. Like when I used to play World of Warcraft when it first came out, even though they weren't that good in the early game, I absolutely loved playing as a warlock because, well, I got minions and minions are cool as shit. So why wouldn't I want minions? 
No, see, and this is why that 10% bonus to damage is pointless. Back, I say. Ooh, what's this? After a parry, your main weapon deals critical damage. Uh, offer to the gods. I'm sorry, I'm going to offer it to the gods because I have not been parrying at all. Increase weakened effect duration by one. Minus 20% to the gold offerings. Each greed kill restores 1% of your max health. Yes. So if I kill an enemy without, um... Without being her and I get the greed kill, I get some of my health back. Well, 1% of my max health. Which is what? 40... 1.4, I guess. Oh, what are these? I don't know! Whoa! Save available. Oh yeah, look at that, save and quit. Right, we're near the end. If this be my final day, let it be known that I was not a coward. That I tried my best to move forward for the people I know. For the people I love. Woo! No! I'm almost dead. Right, let me see. That actually heals quite a bit. Did you see that? I went from 138 to 153. Passing through a door inflicts 25% less corruption. Yes, I will take that. Lose a bit of health to take less corruption. Oh, wait, no, I'm near the end. There's no point. Might as well take that for the uh, increased health. Like, I'm going through one more door, and I'm guessing the, uh, the curse I've got takes half my health. So even if I take less corruption, I'm still going to be hurt by um, by the door anyway. Are you? No. No. Stay back. Back, you foul creatures. Well. Steady, steady. Come on, I need the help. Hey, I did manage to pick up six of those little crystal schools, so that's not too bad. However, I'm probably on full corruption, so I'm fucked in the minute I go through this thing. Six perception. Damage, no single source can take that. Oh, I can switch these. Okay, three decks. Seven each kill. More than that. Right, so if I buy this, it would do that. But there's no point in me getting that because it's the same as the 15. Yeah, here we go. Champion with 100 health. And there goes, <laughs> there goes a third of my health. I, I'm dead. I'm probably dead. But for a one-time run going through this, maybe I'll give myself a second one. Let's see what those permanent upgrades are. I think I've done all right. I just can't dodge. Oh, he got me straight away. Fucking hell. <laughs> Whoa, new record. Whoa, 15 minutes. Wait, I've played this longer than 15 minutes. I played it like 25. What? Pistol schools collected. <laughs> all right, let's see what these permanent upgrades are. I'll give myself one more one for Time for attempt number two. Events? Two of those are required. I don't have any of them. Whoa. Unique try event. Escape from your worst nightmare. For permanent hallucinations, you lose all sense of direction. Plus two per room. Yeah, okay. I'll try that event then. Into the scare. Hey, you can't give me corruption the minute I enter. That's cheating. The fiery halls. Oh, does this actually take stuff for the whip? Yeah, so the whip is my ranged weapon. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Speaking of getting things, have I got your like on this video yet? And going back to a previous thing I was talking about before I immediately died to the boss. Necromancy um, mangas, manwas, izakai animes and stuff. I always love the non-traditional trope for heroes where um 
two-handed action to equip it with your bare hands. Oh, that's cool. So I can use this and then I can use that. So I have a third weapon now. Right. Uh, weighted weapon for throwing. I kind of want it. Right, so that'll mean I'll have to fight there. But I've also got the giant hammer, which will be fine. But going back to the necromancy stuff, which is weird to say for the third time. Right, so... Eh. Ugh. I love non-traditional, um, what's it called, uh, choices for the main characters, because although having the hero be the hero and use a sword and blah, 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 I like the fallen hero type trope recently, it's kind of fun to see like, he's got a profession that's seen as bad, it's necromancy. That means he will use our one. That means that he will use our family members and blah da 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 da. Because it means that he has to face the adversity of trying to be a good guy while dealing with the morality of do I use other people for um, for fodder, essentially. Like one which is obviously the main contender is solo leveling. Uh, watch season one a lot. Haven't started season two. Um, I'm not sure how much of it is out yet. I think it starts around now. I, d I just remember reading a while ago that like, all of the dubs been sorted. But that one is um, one called like Seal Station Necromancer, which is very good. Um, oh, I can't remember the third one I was reading, which I enjoyed. It's called like. Um, Oh, what is it? Something necromancer. Like, reincarnated necro necromancer. So, he was like... So, in it, speaking, he was fighting one of the main bosses of the tower, which, again, is another trope I really enjoy in, uh, in mangas at the moment. It's better than just a normal, typical Izakai. I like it when um, it comes to the real world. But he was fighting in the tower... And he realized that no matter how many people he had with him, he got betrayed. And he decided that instead of having his normal profession, which was fighter, he would go for the one which was seen as the worst one, which was necromancer. Oh my god, Bob, why are sticks of dynamite? I kind of want this one. Yeah, I, I, give me, give me, give me this. Give me the, give me the claw weapon. Those throwing daggers were kind of fun, but poison damage, yeah, yeah, poison damage is a is a must for me. I like, I like my stats over time. But he got betrayed and he realized that the only army he can rely on is his own. So using what his knowledge of the of the tower, there is much in common between a pretender and a flame. They are both driven by hunger. Flame forward traps activate automatically. Cool. Using his knowledge of the tower, he went to each floor collecting the bosses and certain ones. Because, oh my fucking god, that's amazing. Come on, try and fight me. But, so he started going around collecting them and he ends up being this really cool, like, not dark, but overconfident main character where, because he keeps triggering certain events and obviously pissing off the other denizens of the tower, they don't know how to deal with him. Uh, how would I get through this? Big weapon is how I get through it, cool. But because he's also got his army, they're not sure how to deal with him, which prompts the gods in the tower to also go after him. Uh, there's also the, uh, what was it, another one kind of like it. Not in the same sense of necromancy, but it's the, uh, what is it, magician revives after 6,666 years. Like, I know, I know these mangas, animes, and everything out there that have 18 sentences just to um, show what they are. But at times, you, you do have to give them a bit of moxie. They are kind of fun. Like, some of them are ridiculously silly in how they um, how they are. Oh, no! But <laughs> others are kind of fun. Like, cool one. Re-monster. Guy dies, becomes a goblin, slowly works him way up. It's kind of fun. Um, bad one was... This one which I saw, don't know why, but it was um, it was a revenge story, and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. 
It, oh, no, that's it. Redo of hero. Of hero or something. Don't go near that. I get that it was like, oh, it's revenge and everything, which I am a really big lover of revenge tropes. That one isn't revenge. That one's just pure evil. For the sake of being evil. I mean, I watched maybe... Not watched. Not watched. That's the wrong word. I read maybe two chapters of that before I just gave up. I was like... Is this going to get any better? And then he lays out his plan, which was, I'm going to do this, that, and the other to everyone. Whatever they did to me, I'll do to them. And it turns out it was all, like, really, really bad. <laughs> like, oh, this, this guy just wants revenge for the sake of revenge. Come on, come near the fire. Burn to death. Come on. Wah. I cannot lie. These claws are the best thing I've ever picked up. Fast firing. Ugh. Going around beating everything up. Oh, it's great. I've already got them. I've already got them. Oh, does it upgrade them? It does. There, yeah, I'll just take the I'll just take the hammer. The hammer. Yeah. Uh the final one, which I'm reading, which is supposed to be a necromancy manga, but it's not. <laughs> and the reason it's not is really, really funny. So, the main character wanted to be a warrior. Now, that was the only thing he wanted to choose. He was like, I am a warrior through and through. Uh, the wrath of the death god will ignite and the heartless servants. Enemy killed will blow up. But, um, yeah, so he wanted to be a warrior. That was his job. That's what he wanted to do. That's what everyone thought he would do. And uh, <laughs> he ended up getting assigned necromancer. But because he's a stubborn little... Um, main character he said no i refuse ancient buckle of after a parry you know what i would take that instead of the whip because i've not used the whip at all never mind i'm dead because he was so stubborn in the tutorial area that was made for him he um he decided to just fight and that was it just always fight and <laughs> he ended up unlocking the melee abilities instead for a necromancer which makes no sense so, it turns out every time he, um, tries to fight, he doesn't gain any magic, he doesn't gain any abilities, he doesn't gain anything to help him in the way of Necromancer, he gains it just in strength. But, everything goes into his strength. Uh, did I mention it's called Max Strength Necromancer? Probably, but I'll mention it again. And it's really, really stupid. Because... They do. They show damage numbers in their world as like, oh, this is what you do. And because he's a mage, everyone thinks he's only going to have um, mage-style fighting. So when he punches someone and deals like 300, 400 damage, it confuses the hell out of everyone. Which, again, different trope to the uh, usual necromancy stuff, but really, really funny. I love those style of um, those style of mangas. They're really fun. They're good. I I can't follow up on films. I can't follow up on sports or anything. But mangas and stuff, I read quite a few. Yeah, plus two base damage for what was that? Plus two base damage per gold. I think it said. Let me see. Yeah, so if I get... Oh, per 1,000 gold. Well, that's kind of terrible. I don't have a 1,000 gold. I have basically nothing. Oh, the corruption. But what about yous? Do you read manga? Do you read anime? Watch anime? Do you prefer sub to dub? Honestly, because of how much editing and stuff I do, I am a major dub watcher. It's been a while since I've watched anything stub subbed. Stubbed. Anything subbed? Oh yes, off of blood. I would do that immediately. Those claws were phenomenal last time. But it's been a while since I've watched anything subbed. The last one was honestly One Punch Man. That show, that, well, season two, but that shows how long it's been. Into the unknown. Because, well, besides editing for YouTube and other stuff and continuing on, when I've got that free time, I can't exactly just focus my attention, mainly. God, that makes me sound like such a fucking uh, iPad kid. I can't, I can't focus on two, one thing at once. I need to be doing something else. 
My god, these claws are amazing! Have you ever seen weapons better than this? No, you have not. Oh no! The demon inside me! Curse of the Headless. As long as you haven't killed 30 enemies, our damage taken is increased. You permanently gain haste. Cool, so I won't f Oh my god, I lost my head! <laughs> Ow. Where did my head go? Oh. If I go that way, I'm locked out. Oh, same goes for that way. Well, I'll go left then. I went upward last time. No, you don't. Oh my god, these are amazing! <laughs> Plus 15, I'll just remove corruption. I don't have any lightning weapons. Yeah, I'll take. That seems a bit better than the, uh, the dagger I wasn't using. Oh my god! <laughs> it's just so goddamn cool. Whip. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Jesus! Ooh! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 30% more to my poison? Woo! <laughs> Why wouldn't I say yes? But it, it, this is what I genuinely um, like about... Uh, what's it called? About my sum of series for finding games I don't know about because I never would have played this. It did not look like the type of game for me. I was like, oh yeah, you know, top down ish, rogue like. Not really for me. Loved it. Uh, Tunic. Absolutely loved playing that. Might go back to it next year or something. You know, actually finish off some of the some of games. But uh, what else? Death Store. Death Store. Really fun game. Highly recommend if you were. Uh... Oh my god. Oh, that's why I'm taking so much damage, because I have to kill 30 enemies. I'm an idiot. I completely forgot about my modifier that said I gain permanent haste, but I take 50% more. But, again, Death Door, good game. Tunic, good game. 4% uh, base damage, I've already got that. 45% critical hit. 15% damage in darkness. Yes. Yes, I will take... How am I doing on my upgrades? Oh, I've only got three. Corruption. Yeah, so let me see. So, more gold, sure. More poison, yes. More damage in darkness, which I usually do. 10% less gold. I wonder if I can get a better light. Uh, upgrade. Ugh! Darkness imprisoning me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, this character! Oh my god! <laughs> They're dying in four hits. They're dying in four hits. I don't even have to care. I can just whack and they're done. Oh my god, this is so good. Off of blood. Oh, so I can take 50% more corruption for this. Fuck yeah. I'll do that. I don't care. More poison damage for me in the basis of a little bit of corruption. Who cares? Corrupted! Oh no! I only need to kill two more and I get rid of this debuff. Into the unknown. Unknown's always fun. What is my curse? 
Ah, no! The darkness! So for us bubbles. Explosive bubbles have an increased radius. That's not really a debuff. That's not a debuff at all. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Back, I say. Back. <laughs> oh, my God. Poison's overpowered. Well, claw weapons are overpowered, I should say. Oh, that's a nine. That's an 11. That that was it. That was it. That was the beam. That was the beam. I will take more corruption. You keep giving me more damage on my claws. I will take the corruption. I do not give a fuck. I don't care. I love it. Uh, weapon or attributes? How to go for attributes. I could get a tiny bit more health or something. Sure, why not? Oh, no. Oh, the dark mysteries. Other curses are unknown as long as this one is not lifted. I already know me other curses. You don't scare me. Woo! Oh, you want to fight in the dark? You think darkness is your ally? Hey, what's this? Is that a bow? Wait, was that an upgrade? Um... Did I just accidentally get rid of the bow without meaning to? Maybe. Maybe. I would definitely take more crit damage. Why wouldn't I? Woo! Oh no. The floor, she gave way. Stop. This big enemy that used to cause me problems gone. Gone. He's gone. He's done. He's out. He's, fi he's fired. You don't get to be here anymore. Fuck off. Oh, hello. Earn the powers of the dead gods to intrude. Uh, constitution is your max health. Dexterity is weapon damage. Each point of perception increases your gold. Oh, wait, what? So I can go for this one, which is only 250. I can go for that, or I can go for both. I'm gonna go for both. Give me them. Give me them. Give me them now. Fight the champion. I've got half my health. I've got my corruption. I've got my whatevers. I'm ready. I'm back for you, bitch. It took me a while, but I am back. Whoa, big damage. Okay, get my stamina back. Oh, he's got no chance. He's got no chance. Jesus. He's just going to die. I don't, I don't even have to care to fight him now. He's just going to die from poison. It's just that easy. It's just that easy with poison. Poison damage. Literally the best. Jade rings are gifts from the dead gods to those who overcome the trial of the temple. They're bound to your character and persist after death. After each exploration, you can trade them in the underworld. Is that it? Am I done? Am I leaving the underworld? New record! Whoa! Well, that was actually incredibly fun. So, thank you all for watching. If you have liked this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I've really, really enjoyed recording this. I hope you've, I do hope you have enjoyed watching. And as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and from the curse of the dead gods and I, goodbye.